Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. This video right here is going to be like a prologue video to my upcoming DIY video because apparently some of you guys are interested in how I choose each material and pattern for each DIY. And for my upcoming DIY project, I think this is a pretty good opportunity to showcase that because of how much fabric I gotta use and how much I copy at the thrift store just for this one project. That was my neighbor. So the first thing I do is I go online on my phone and I try to find as many different angles of the pants I'm trying to recreate as I can. Now I just take a bunch of screenshots of them. So like here on my phone, I have like seven different angles of the pants I'm trying to recreate. So for example, here I have like the back side of it, got the bottom left leg, bottom right leg, a close up of the patchworks. So you can like see the details, see this, uh, the hand stitching, the sewing. And you can also see here the different types of fabric that they use and a close up near the button flies, an overview of the top half of the front. And then of course the overall back side. And I do have the overall front side too, but somewhere on my phone. But basically I have multiple different angles of the pants. I try to find as much as I can online so that before I go to the thrift store, I can prep and have an idea of the types of fabric and patterns I'm trying to look for. So these pants right here are the 14 ounce denim crazy botanical rat flare denims by the brand capital these pants are running for like twenty three hundred dollars holy crap but on the topic of prepping for the thrift store let's look at the overall front view of these pants so we can see what we have to do so the first thing that i see other than the patches on these jeans i mean it even says in the title of them is the fact that they're flared out and you can see that they added like a flare extension to both pant legs like you can see the original, like the size of the original denim that they used, which means off the bat, I do gotta get either another pair of jeans so I can cut that up and use that as a flare panel or use a spare one that I have in my room. Fortunately, I do have some spares already, some spare denim in my room, so I don't have to cop that at the thrift store, which means I can save some money. Now, of course, these are denim jeans, which means that you gotta buy some denim jeans. Now these, I don't think they're gonna be skinny, like skinny in the knees and flared out. And if they are, I don't wanna make them that way. So I'm gonna plan on buying some like relaxed fitted jeans, not straight jeans, just relaxed. 505 Levi's, probably the best bet if I could find those, that'd be the best option for myself. Um, but if not, just find something that's regular fitted. So what I would do is I would open up my notes on my phone and I'll just create a new memo. So we're here on the upper back part of it. Now let's start from the top. So it has like a dark, like weird kind of graphic material. It looks like it's kind of fuzzy too. Um, it looks like it could be like a, a kitchen mitten or something. So we can look for something like that. But basically I would be like, oh, I need a, a dark fabric, like a dark charcoal gray fabric, like a light gray slash pink or whatever. I'll just say light gray fabric. And then as you can see near the butt pocket, there's a, a burgundy uh, fabric as well as like a purple fabric so burgundy fabric and then you know there's different colors and then you can see there's like cheetah prints and then there's different kinds of floral but like the super small floral pattern so i can say small green floral and what was the other one it was like a like a brownish small floral and then cheetah print um and then they have like this kid kind of design like with some stars and everything like that so i can just say like um like a kiddish design or graphic or something like that and in parentheses i put like stars um just so i can remember what i'm talking about you know and then uh yeah so you just keep doing that and you can see there's like some denim there's like some olive green there's also some more uh, small floral patterns now, if you go on to the right leg on this next picture, there's some embroidery on the bottom. So as you see, this is probably the most, probably one of the most important uh, patterns and fabrics to cop. So you have to make sure to find a good floral embroidery design. That would be long enough to wrap around the whole bottom of the flare, which is the widest part of the pant leg. Floral, embroidery. And then on the other leg, it has like this uh, 70s vibe striped uh, panel as well, but you get the idea, right? So just keep zooming in, see what kind of patterns and uh, material that you would need that you would try to look for at the thrift store. And that's really all to it when it comes to prepping to go to the thrift store. Now going there is kind of a different story because you're not gonna find exactly what you want 
100% of the time. You might get lucky and you will find something super like exact one-to-one -one copy of the fabric you're looking for. But for the most part, you're just gonna find something similar to what you're really looking for. So these are a pair of relaxed fitted Banana Republic jeans. Like I said earlier, I'd rather have a pair of Levi's 505s, but again, you can't get everything you wish for. And also these are straight jeans, not relaxed jeans either. So I might have to elongate the flare panel a little bit higher than I want them to. This is just the best pair that I can find for this DIY. Now in front of me, I have everything that I think fit all the stuff that I need for this DIY. As you can see, there is a lot of stuff that I ended up buying. Um, I ended up spending like 60 bucks at the thrift store in, in total for all of this. Um, that also includes a jacket that I just really liked. But I mean, I'm trying to recreate a $2,300 pair of jeans for 60 bucks, so I guess it's pretty worth it. Unfortunately, I'm not getting paid, so I can't write this off in taxes. <laughs> so yeah, you're not gonna get everything that you want. So for example, one of the things that I needed was like a kid graphic, the one in, in these pants, the one on these pants had like stars and it looked pretty nice, very like 90s like cartoon show or something like that kind of vibe. And I I'm just getting this one right here. Uh, it's not the best graphic, but it's the best one that I can find. I'll just like cut up like this chunk right here and that'll be that panel. Now the overall vibe of the pants was like very 70s or like hippies-ish. You know, it even has like flares from the 70s. And I saw this crew neck right here and I think adding this piece panel onto somewhere, I don't even know where, I think it would add a nice touch to it. And also at the same time, it's a light gray fabric, which was I was looking for for the backside of these pants. So this one right here is like a two in one. And on the pants, there's like a happy face graphic and I can just use this jellyfish because it's the only one I could find. Then obviously there was a bunch of solid colored patches. So I got like burgundy, olive green, got some salmon pink. And also one tip too, this, yeah, all of these, these fabrics right here, these shirts, from the girls section. And they're a lot cheaper than the guys section because originally I had these colors from uh, the guys section, but those were like $5 to $6 more than these right here. These were like two to three bucks. So a pro tip, if you are trying to find some fabric that you're just gonna end up cutting up, go to the girls section. They have a bunch. Their section takes up like three fourths of the store. You know what I mean? So you're more likely to find fabric for a cheaper price and yeah, don't be ashamed. I mean, you're gonna cut it up anyway. You're not gonna wear it. Now, a lot of the patterns on these pants are pretty random, but they do share a pretty common theme of being kind of from the 70s, giving off that vibe. I've been saying that the entire video. But when you're looking for graphics and patterns, you have to make sure to stay under that category of 70s hippies. Now, floral was probably the easiest one to find at the thrift store because a lot of people still wear floral nowadays. But for example, I was looking for a small brown floral pattern as well as a small green one, but I ended up finding this one right here. Now I was kind of on the fence of this one because it wasn't obviously green or brown, but it does have similar uh, floral to the ones in the picture. But I think with everything that I got, I think it will mix pretty well. Then they have a bunch of other brown patterns. So I got this one right here. I think these are like fish actually. I think this is kind of 70s vibe-ish, right? I mean, eh, kind of. But I think the main thing are the colors right here because they're more of the kind of colors I was really looking for. Like if you look at the pants, there's some graphics that are pretty much the same color as this one, like yellowish, tannish, creamish, brownish, kind of like that. And then there's this one right here, look like a popcorn concession stand, dude. But I mean, there was one like orange uh, straight panel, which I guess I can use this for um, I don't know. This is kind of whatever. Then they have this green and blue kind of floral, or is it paisley? I think it's like, it's like paisley floral. Huh. I never noticed that. I think this one's going to work really well. Fits the overall vibe, 70s, floral, paisley, whatever. I think this one's a really good pickup. Then they have this, like, I don't even know what this is, like a dress or like a shirt thing. Got it at the girls section too. But it does have this nice part here on the bottom, on the skirt area, which I'm going to cut up and use it maybe on the, uh, what do you call it? Oh, wait a minute. This one right here, I was gonna actually use it for the bottom of the pant leg on the right side, because it does have stripes and it's kind of orangey or whatever. So that's why I got this. <laughs> I was like, bro, this thing does not really go. So the last material and fabric that I cop was this thing. I don't know what this is either. I think this is also a dress. I was looking for a solid dark blue fabric, which this one is, it's perfect or is it like violet? But this is also a two-in-one because I can use the overall solid colors as a patch or a panel or whatever, but I can also use this front part right here because I was looking for a floral embroidery design. This one right here, ooh, got some flowers. That's embroidered, it's really dope. Now the thing is, I'm hoping that this 
if I wrap this around like that, it'll be long enough to wrap around the whole flare, but honestly, I really doubt it. But that's okay because on the chest area, there's some more embroidery and I can just use this as like an extension. But as you can see, all the stuff that I copped here, they're not exactly like the ones in the picture, but they are pretty similar. They still follow the same kind of vibe. But at the same time, I'm trying to keep in mind the main detail of each panel, for example, the flower embroidery on this thing that I'm gonna use. I had to make sure that I cop something that was embroidered and it was like a flower pattern. So you just have to keep the important things in mind when copying stuff, just buy things that are similar. And it is a DIY, so you can even follow your own kind of vibe. Like if you wanna change it up a little bit, go for like 80s or 90s or I don't know, about dinosaurs or something. Like you can always look for stuff related to that thing. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's, a, it's a DIY. This is your project, no one else's. It's up to you. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. That's how I buy all the fabrics that I use for my DIY projects. But as a quick summary, so first off, you gotta get a bunch of angles of the pants you're trying to recreate. You gotta figure out what materials that you need, put it down in your memos, take note of it, make a checklist, and then you just go thrifting, do your thing, be creative, go to the girl section to save some money, and then get to work. I promise you it's pretty easy. You just don't have to overthink everything. Usually when I do DIYs, it all just works out in the end, even if everything here doesn't really look like it will. You'd be surprised. I was surprised a lot of times of the outcomes of my projects, and I'm sure you will too. You also gotta remember that this type of project, you don't have to be super perfect, and it doesn't have to be like super symmetrical or anything like that. Everything can be uneven, one can be longer than the other, one patch is like super different or whatever. Like it, it really doesn't matter. At the end of the day, this is just streetwear, nothing's gonna be perfect. I mean, honestly, in my opinion, I prefer it to be imperfect. I think that looks a lot better. I mean, I don't want these jeans to be like incredibly like symmetrical. So yeah, again, hopefully this whole thing helps. Just go out there, do your thing, have some fun you'll be all right. <laughs> all right, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like, hit that sub button too, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you guys for 1,000 subs. My upcoming DIY project is coming up soon. Again, this is like the prologue video for that. Follow me on Instagram and hit me up if you have any DIY requests. Just message me, it's all good. I'm a friendly dude, <laughs> maybe. But anyways, I catch you guys in the next video. I'm out, peace.